Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here, this is Penguin Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to enable the NVIDIA surround feature. And what this feature does is, is allow you to look at two screens instead of one split screen for two players for local multiplayer games such as um, Rocket League and then uh, Intex 2. Now I also understand that AMD also has similar feature in the iInfinity program. But since I only have NVIDIA cards, I'm just going to show you how to do that for NVIDIA cards. So, uh, first off, you go to the start button and then you go search for NVIDIA control panel, hit on it, and then you go into this thing will pop up in NVIDIA control panel, go into the 3D settings here, configure surround physics, and then what you're going to do is under the surround configuration, spam display, tick this with surround, and then click configure, and then it's going to show you your number one and number two monitor here and then so for me this is my main monitor so this is one times two topology okay you can also select to two times one depending on the situation and then choose the display you want to use the surround sound surround feature so in this case i have a Acer xv27p which is my monitor number two and then the ga271 cooler master uh, which is my main monitor now so this monitor is 27 inch 1440p this is 27 inch 1080p so once I enable this it will downgrade to both monitor displaying 1080p so without further ado click enable surround okay so it's gonna you know kind of combine these two monitors as you can see and now this looks this is the center of the monitor here and then um, I'm going to close this and then try to demo you with Rocket League and so I have this game so I'm going to launch it so it's launching now and then I have two of my controller here one is no more so you will encounter this weird part but that's okay steady and so you will see that this uh, this monitor looks a bit blur on my right side and that's because it is 1440p and it's been downgraded into 1080p to fit into this monitor otherwise if these two are the same resolution they should look better but in this case it's following the lower resolution here so so i have enabled you know joining the local party by pressing the settings on my second ps4 controller and as you can see i have both cars here and so what i'm going to do is to jump into one of the you know, training session and to see and to show you, you know, I, I can look at two both screens. I think I need that. Okay now, so I actually had to run into some problems. So actually you had to, you know, change the video setting to 1340 to 1080p so that, you know, it spams the whole monitor and then click apply. And what you're gonna end up with it's gonna have two monitors, you know, playing on different cars. So for example, you see this car is running. And then this one on my monitor one is also running. So this allows you to look at both screens, you know, um, and then play with a better experience. So if you have any questions, let me know. This also works on other split screen games. So let me know. Uh, but I think it's limited up to two monitors and uh, I've also done it on my Tech Suge and it works perfectly also except for the cutscenes where as usual it, everything is going to be in the center of these two monitors but that's about it guys thank you for watching remember to like and subscribe to the video if you find it useful and I will catch you guys next time bye bye so hard to drive with a controller one-handed <laughs>